this week's episode of the Electro Samba Bus Project, we're going to test if you can charge a battery by regenerative braking by towing this vehicle down the road. So we all know that AC systems are designed to regenerate energy back into your EV's battery pack. But can they safely put enough energy back to call it a charge? There are many reasons why one would want to know the answer to this question. Me, at present, I want to know because I currently don't have a charger as I accidentally damaged it last week and it's currently being repaired. But for most people the reason will be that there might come a time when you find yourself in an emergency situation where you have an empty battery and no time to charge it, but you do have access to a towing vehicle. Okay, I know it. The odds of you finding yourself in such a predicament is pretty ludicrous. You probably have a better odds of winning the lottery twice underwater. But if you somehow were to beat the odds and find yourself in need of a quick tow charge, then today's episode is for you. So what we're doing is I have um, put a cable in here for my instrumentation and that is going all the way to inside the cab of our tow truck and that's going to allow me to keep an eye on the uh, parameters of the motor, my motor temperature, my controller temperature, how much energy is going into the pack and at what rate, uh, so what's the state of my, well, my battery pack and the whole thing, and, uh, my RPMs, everything. I'm going to pretty much be keeping an eye on this guy because well, we want to make sure that we do it in a safe way and um, that's the today's test for this guy. We're, um, we're going down the road here um, and we're uh, towing our bus. Uh, we've been, what, I don't know, we've probably gone two, three miles already. Uh, we're doing, what, 50 miles? We're doing about 50 miles. The motor's doing about 2,800 RPMs. Um, it's putting about 170 amps into the battery, which is crazy fast charging that's about as much as it uses going down the road um, I'm uh, of course I have my my instrumentation cluster here and it's telling me pretty much everything here's the voltage 123 volts I have to keep an eye on that if it gets above 129 I have to stop the charge process um, Here's the amp hours that are going into the battery. Here are the amp hour counter. So I started with 80 amps, which was a little bit less than half of my battery on my pack uh, life. And I am now, right now, at 96. So this is gonna charge pretty quick. Uh, maybe 20 minutes and we're gonna be pretty much done. 97. Um, um, with this guy, I'm going to keep an eye on the motor. Uh, 120 amps, 123 volts. The motor temperature is at 68 degrees Celsius, which is a little bit hot. I don't know why. I don't know if my uh, cooling system is actually flowing. Uh, but I gotta keep an eye on that. If it reaches 80 degrees, then we gotta stop the charging. Uh, oh wait, a minute, that was the motor. The controller is at 55 C. No, yeah, my uh, my cooling system is definitely working. If it's a 55, um, at 2600 RPMs, I think that's why the motor temperature is 70. Uh, the, the motor can run all the way to 120 degrees Celsius, which is about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Isn't that crazy? But it's just a uh, just a bunch of cable wrapped around a bunch of a big giant piece of metal, so there's nothing to break there. So the motor temperature just went up to 71. Um, 
I don't know, I'm gonna have to decide where I wanna cut it, but we could get somewhere around 100. Here we go, are we uh, 102 amp hours into the battery pack already? Yeah, this is gonna be maybe 20 miles and we're gonna be done charging. If something else doesn't, you know, the temperature doesn't go too high, if the voltage doesn't go too high. No, it's just, it seems to be working. So eventually our trip was cut short as our support vehicle, another BW bus, experienced running issues. Our trip was to both test my tow charging technique and to test the egg bus's recently rebuilt mechanicals. We managed to put a 30 mile charge and my battery pack which started with an 80 amp hour state of charge ended with 160. So that works out to a 2.6 amp hour charge per mile or a distance of 70 miles to fully charge my 22 kilowatt pack. So whether you ever need to do this or not, our little test here shows that it is possible if you have the right conditions. Like with all things, your mileage may vary, your system might be different. And even if you did happen to run the same HP VS AC50 system, your controller's parameters might be set different, having a drastic effect on the system's ability to perform this task. At the end of the day, one thing is very clear. Using a proper charger and allowing enough time to charge your pack is best. But if you find yourself in a pinch, well, Hey guys, check it out. So we're here at jack35.com and look at this. This is a Chevy Volt. Just like the one that I bought for my wife. But guess what? This is not the one I bought for my wife. This is uh, Nathan. Uh, he's in char currently in charge of uh, fulfilling orders for Jack 35. Um, he went out and also purchased a uh, Chevy Volt after I told him how much you could save uh from his original car he he was driving around a car that was pretty similar to what we were driving and after seeing that we were going to save about fifty two hundred dollars a year by switching over to chevy volt then he said well that's good enough uh opportunity for me to test out a electric car and um so it seems i'm uh, you know once you start preaching the good word of the the good ev word people start changing and they uh you know they start driving so it seems i might have to put some charging stations here at uh at jack 35. Uh, now i have to charge now he has to charge we're gonna be fighting from same uh, uh you know from the same plug and stuff so <laughs> we might have to get some level two charging stations and put them in the thing uh, it's a good way to meet other EV uh, enthusiasts and drivers uh, if we put them up in the uh, plug share network and stuff and um, I don't know we'll think about it I, I'm, I'm gonna have to seriously consider it now now that we have uh, several cars that are gonna need charging here at jack35.com all right see you guys next week